funny how a little cat with no mouth and two beady eyes can inspire a crazy obsession among toy collectors all over the world. Just 10 years ago, Singapore witnessed a kitty mayhem when hundreds of people queued up for a Hello Kitty plush toy with their order of a McDonald's meal. Thankfully, that madness didn't repeat itself last weekend at the expo when a $2 million interactive exhibit inspired by Hello Kitty opened its doors for the first time. The Kitty Lab, an amusement park designed like a virtual arcade, opened at 10am, but by 9 in the morning, some 30 people were already lining up to enter. We spoke to the people in the queue, some of whom had 10 years ago partook in the McDonald's Hello Kitty madness. Hello, so who is the biggest Hello Kitty fan here? Biggest ah. Uh. Biggest. <laughs> guys here during the, uh, the whole McDonald's mayhem about 10 years ago, where McDonald's started giving out um, these toys. <laughs> Were you one of those people queuing up? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do you have the whole collection as well? Yeah, we have the whole collection. I think we queued up for overnight. It's just that maybe I took I queued on the daytime and then my brother would take over for the overnight. Yeah, so we like share half the time slot. So it's less hectic. Yeah. So do you still have that collection in plastic or do you take it out? Um yeah, I still have it in plastic. I'm gonna take it out when I move to my new house. Yeah, and then put it on display. Oh my gosh, it's been ten years and you still haven't taken it out of the plastic. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to dirty it. I did have my own house, yeah. How much have you spent on Hello Kitty merchandise? She, her whole house is decorated in Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty obsession is also about the fashion. Many Singaporeans came dressed in cutesy kitty inspired apparel. How have you dressed up today for the event? I noticed that lots of people have come up, you know, all cutesy and very Japanese inspired outfits. Tell us about what you're wearing. Um, actually, I think my style has always been along the lines of these, so I guess it sort of coincides with the Hello Kitty team. I see you've got, you're all blinked up with Hello Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Show us some of the stuff, your shoes, where'd you get those from? Uh, shopping, or when I, shopping around. Necklace also from the Norina Square Kitty Love Shop. Are your uh, glasses, are they Hello Kitty as well? Mm, no. So you've come all prepared today for today's event? Yes. What are the chances of bumping into a Hello Kitty fan? Well, I spotted two women from Bangkok who were at the expo for another event. But they too couldn't resist popping by the Kitty Lab. I think Kitty like become like a uh, international uh, culture already. People mm. love Kitty. Like, uh, It's more like, um, I don't know, like they're just friendly and very cute. <laughs> yeah. This is my country. It's like a, a, a lady can lap the car like a kitty, and uh, they have a, a the car. Uh, all the, all the bling bling, yeah, it? it's like a, that uh, inside the car, and uh, yeah. Is there a big Hello Kitty culture also from yes. Thailand? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how much merchandise do you have of Hello Kitty? Um, how many? How much bling bling do you have? Actually, a I, lot, I, right? yeah, I use like uh, uh, the doll and uh, the stationery, accessory, and, yeah, accessory yeah. and uh, stationery. Think you have a feline fetish? This $2 million setup will run for two weeks at the Expo Hall 1 till November 28th.